Changes. Some people change is a positive movement. It's a new wave of positivity that's sweeping through the uh, lives of teenagers all around the city, all around the country. And we want to get all you guys connected, informed, and encouraged in knowing that you're not alone. And we know that we can produce a lot more with a positive society and positive people helping us out. My name is Serena. I'm HBC's positive because I like science and I like to see how things work. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to H4C Positive Discussion Forum on Reality TV. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to get started. Uh, today we have a few speakers who are going to be uh, 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 leaders, our panel leaders. We're going to have Tariq Murphy. Um, Tariq Murphy. Woo. And we also have Keyshawn Scott. Hey. the discussion, all right? Now, we want to get your, you guys' opinions as well on reality TV, whether you think it's positive or negative. So feel free to raise your hand, chime in, and share your input, all right? John Scott, I'm the executive director of the Be Positive campaign and a more educated Black Man Summit, which is two nonprofit organizations I start to save the world. And I'm sort of like a, a superman of nonprofit and saving the youth and the future the generation and bring forth a lot of positive change in the lives. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. 25 years old and a lot, a lot of the stuff that I see going on when I step out the door is just not positive at all. And I believe there's hope in the future and there's hope in everybody and everything. How you guys doing? My name is Tori Murphy. Um, I'm with the Heather for Change uh, campaign. I'm the revivalist, the co-leader with this campaign. I'm going to make a difference and make a change in today's society. I'm tired of statistics. I'm tired of people saying or just talking about change rather than producing it. I feel that the world needs more solutions than addressing the problems. To be honest, I was nervous. Um, my name is Shonette. Right. Hi, everybody. Um, well, I pretty much don't look like the women that are on TV right now. Um, fake hair, fake nails, fake eyelashes <laughs> um, going in. And I really think that um, it's just pretty much sex appeal. They may say that they're the baddest chick and they might portray what they want to portray, but deep down, these ladies are hurting being the baddest chick or just being you know, the, the girl that could run everything. How about you know, starting a business, doing something for your children, for the next generation, doing something for yourself? So I think that's my problem with um, how women are being portrayed on TV. Take off the TV, read a book, <laughs> meditate, pick up a hobby, do something regard because the, the media is just brainwashing us and telling us what we, what, that the real, that that's the real world. In order to be successful, in order to get a car, in order to be to be the best at whatever it is, this is what we need to do. They got these beautiful women on TV who has these tons of makeup all the time, and then these girls watch it, and then they want to look just like that. They see the dress. The first thing the girls, I could correct me if I'm wrong, the first thing the girls see when they watch the reality, the reality show is, oh my gosh, yes, in my shoes. Oh, her hair looks real good. Oh, that, that, that dress looks real nice on her. Then after that, what you're doing is formulating a whole entire image in your head of what you think is real now. Mm. So now you say, I want to be just like that. But you're not saying it because it's subliminally stuck in your head. One of the things I said, he said, the subconscious part. I feel that when you keep feeding yourself some things, you will then have to change. If you go on the court religiously every day and practice basketball, if you want to be the best model and you walk every day, you will then become better, you will then change. And the same thing is if even if something as little as reality TV, even if something as little as negativity or violence, if that is keep being fed to you, something in you must change because of it. Um, my name is Francis Rose Jr. And um, what I have to say about reality TV is, like I said, it's not reality. You know, it's a make-believe land. It's a place where we are supposed to get our motivation from. And if you actually pay attention to it, most of the people who watch reality shows are actually the younger generations. And that's who they target. They target they target the students who are in high school. They target the young college students. Something nowadays in people aren't, like I said, aren't trying to go to college. What are they trying to do? They're trying to find the next audition to find Real World Brooklyn or whichever new show is out there. Another thing that he was saying was about reality TV I was really wanting to touch in was um, the image, 
I got caught stealing at Macy's at King's Plaza when I was 15 years old. And the reason why I did it is because I wanted to fit in. I was young, I was 15, all my friends was 18, 19, 20. So they say, oh, why don't you do this for me? I said, okay, let me do it for you. I stole, got caught, and my mother dealt with me when I got home in a physical way. You know, I know people that would burn out $200, $300 on a shirt. $200, $300 on some sneakers because they want to fit in with other people. I always wanted to be accepted and fit in. And girls I see on Facebook all want to be models. And I don't knock people, I don't like knocking people's goals or passions, but if it's not genuine, then you should question it. And secondly, the same thing in basketball applies to life, and I think school, and I had to do it because I wasn't a great student. I said, you know, just as much as I practice basketball, if I study, I will get an A. And let, you, let the world see your positive side. Uh, your voice can really make a difference. Um, anybody here watch Team Mom, 16 and Pregnant? For example, I had a student who, she found out that the girls on Teen Mom and 16 and Pregnant got paid for being on the show. So I said, yeah, they, you know, they get paid, you know, they, you know, the cameras are following them, you know, they got to be compensated for that and, you know, for the, you know, the interruption of their life. And she, this is what she said. She said, well, if I can get paid and be on MTV, I'll get pregnant too. I'm pretty sure that's, that's, that wasn't maybe the intention. What teenager doesn't want to be in the spotlight or be recognized and, and praised by everyone. And so if, if, if the route I have to take is to get pregnant and be on MTV, I'll take that route. But we understand that teen pregnancy is a serious problem in America. Like I said, my sister got nine kids, right? She's 40. I went to a barbecue a few weeks ago. Why is my sister with nine kids at a barbecue? And my friend's barbecue, she's right there chilling. Go on, she had the makeup on, she had the earrings, her hair's done, and she looks young. And I'm like, dad, yo, because these guys just want to be young too. They partying with them. They in their drama, they in their business. Getting divorces, going from man to man, and there's not a lot of positive fathers figures in their life. That's when I see it. That's when, That's why when I see a, a positive father figure, I'm happy, I'm proud, because when I get older, I want to be a positive father figure. You know, I want to be there every single day. I want to teach, I want to let them read. Like I said, you need to get off the TV and start reading more, learn more, meditate. Differentiate between reality and what you see on TV. And I really think that's up to the parents. The parents really have to instill that in their children from when they're kids. I think school is for discipline because my teacher told me, you pay tuition, you will come and get paid anyway. College, you're failing yourself, not coming. Knowledge, you said that knowledge, you have that forever. Now it's powerful right there. Because I think that even when you see these celebrities, they're not always gonna look as beautiful, you know, they're gonna work well. You know, Michael Jordan, right now, as you see when he tried to play for the Wizards, he didn't have it. You know what I mean? And that's just shows you. But the knowledge of the game he had has him right now being one of the main owners of Charlotte Bobcats. Why is violence even entertaining to me? Because then it will go even from in my early years, from me watching it on TV, from me getting excited when I see it on the street. And some people will actually go in the park and get a crowd when they see a fight, but no one would even, who are amongst the people in the crowd, would even get in the fight and stop it. So why is that even entertainment in our eyes? And that shows you right now how we are just being blinded by those small words by saying, that's entertainment. That's not entertainment. Why is argument, arguing, excessive argument, getting battles, dramas? We love drama. If somebody's having an argument, what happened over there? Girls, you don't like drama? No. <laughs> I said girls. I didn't say women. <laughs> now, because of society and how these things, TV has programmed us, it is now looked upon as a society. And lastly, what Renell said, he started off with shows, and Keyshawn said Fresh Prince, and you guys said Martin. Martin was a committed man to his, his girl, Gina. Fresh Prince. A family who saw his nephew in struggle and took him in his family and gave him a good education. Family matters, right there, family matters. And now it sees that these shows that started off so great and so positive, one, are not even out no more, even though they can still see them on TV. They're not making new broadcasting. But what shows are similar to these that are being made right now in our society? Just really allowing it to be an alternative for the negative trends that we see in our society. Reality television frequently portrays a modified and highly influenced form of reality to attract audience viewers and to generate advertising revenue profits. Participants 
are often placed in exotic locations or abnormal situations, and are sometimes coached to act in specific scripted ways by off-screen story editors or even segment television producers. There's someone writing, there's someone who's producing and, and motivating the person, the cast member, to do their things, and also they strategically edit certain videos and splice it with other videos to make it look like something else and happen. Half of America is saying that we would like to see more positive shows. But why is it the fact that we're seeing, you know, we're seeing more of a of, a, of an avalanche effect? positive because I'm with the whole movement of inspiring people, motivating people, encouraging people to do better than they think they can because everybody has the potential to be great and do great things with their lives. You just have to believe in yourself because I believe in you already. H4C positive is the way to be. Be positive campaign, H4C, we're doing big things and I want you to join us. Be positive.